that the president is the person over the military right now. We need down here, and everything else expands from there. But I love y'all, like I just said. My brother here with me. And, man. What's his name? What's his name? What do we want? What do we want? No peace? No justice. No peace. Thank y'all. Uh, how y'all doing tonight, JY family? You know, this is our small but big to us third world community. You know, I'm very happy y'all honored my brother. You know, Jay's known him as Floyd George because he had two first names, so they put Floyd George in the paper all the time, but you know it's written to George Floyd. But um, y'all know my brother as an athlete. Some know him as Perry, they say in the background. But y'all know him as the football star. You know, we know him as the big bro. Yep. Um, Stand-up man, a, a good major influence in the community. A rapper, um, good athlete, good friend, good brother, great man. And also, again, people, you know, just, it's our third ball community. We got to work on it. And you know, a lot of us have these conversations to ourselves and friends, and honestly, Pick it back to what my brother said. We got to get out there voting in the community, get our face in the community. And that's everybody as a whole, not including us because a horrible incident happened to us. We got to vote the local legislatives in, find out do our homework and background on them and what they're offering us and demand, demand them what we need, let them know what we need to offer, and let them know they right for us. Because definitely we need to get the locals in, and the locals are the councilmen, the councilwomen in our area. And we definitely need to do that. That way we can get a governor and whoever else in that order on our side. But you know what? It just as the policing, now we can change the policing and yeah. all that included. And you know, we got to educate ourselves on that matter. Amen. But right now, JY family, Third Ward family, love y'all. Great people, I love this beautiful crowd we got out here. And I mean, not just as black race coming together, we're coming together around the world. Everybody's tired and fed up. We're getting treated like we one third of a human being. And you know what? If we're here, we keep this unity going. When these cameras gone, we're going to have to stand together and keep marching without these cameras around. So we can just know these cameras right here. And we're going to get together and get this community. we got some great people and young people stepping up. Everybody waking up. And let's keep this energy going. It's a beautiful thing. And let's keep it here. All right. You know, love all y'all. Right. Oh, y'all know we third ward all day. Love all y'all. Let's give it up for uh, the Floyd family and attorney Benjamin Crump. Now, before they leave, we would like to make sure that they see a very special video tribute. And we're about to light the candle immediately after that. So if you don't have, I need, I make, we need to make sure who, uh, whoever's responsible for the candles, they need to get a candle in their hand and everybody needs to have a candle. If you don't have a candle, cell use phone. your cell phone with your light on that. We're not doing it right now, but as soon as this video finished, it's going to be a video tribute from one of our Jack Yates alums. I told y'all Jack Yates is everywhere all over the globe. Miss Debbie Allen. Hello, I'm Debbie Allen fellow Jack Yates Lion alumni, and I'm here to stand with my peers for George Floyd, for the city of Houston, for the state of Texas, for our country, America. Growing up in Houston, Texas, I remember as a child, a little girl marching in the streets for basic human rights so we could go to a restaurant or to the movies or I could go to ballet class. Those struggles took this country like a brush fire. And soon, Lyndon Johnson signs the civil rights legislation into being. And here we are again today, 
I feel faced with an even darker situation where young and old black men and women are hunted, hunted like game on the Serengeti as they walk the streets or sleep in a car or lay resting in their beds, hunted by the police. This has to change, this cannot be. The voices of black people are resonating with the people in this country and the people around the world demanding for change, demanding it. So I stand with you today and I mourn the loss of our brother, George Floyd. And I celebrate his life, which in the words of his beautiful daughter, Gianna, my daddy changed the world. George Floyd has forever changed our lives and we must hold the world accountable. We must make these changes now. Now. Thank you. The meaning of a candlelight vigil is different for everyone. When candles are lit one by one, it is symbolic of spreading a message or support from one person to another. As we are surrounded by darkness, the glowing of our candles gives us the opportunity to reflect on the true and authentic reason for our gathering here, celebrating the life and legacy of our fellow lion, George Perry Floyd Jr. The loss of our fellow lion stings greatly. Many of us are still grieving, angry, frustrated, seeking answers, seeking justice, trying to cope and trying to figure out ways to further protect ourselves, our sons and our daughters. The death of our fellow lion, George Floyd, is yet another example of why Colin Kaepernick took a knee and why every American, regardless of your race, should be concerned about what black people have been complaining about for decades. As we prepare our hearts and minds to light our candles, we will do so and it will allow us to remember what George Floyd endured and to continue demanding justice for George Floyd and his family. I would like to ask that the video for the song that we're going to listen to as we light our candles be queued up, uh, which will be sung by Mr. Chris Walker. And I want everybody now, if you have your candle, to light it now and help light the candle of your neighbor so that we can share in this experience together. As we're lighting our candle, I ask that we have a moment of silence as we lead up to the song being played. You can use your phone, your flashlights. Put them up, put them up. On our knees again, asking why are we just by the color of our skin? Time for change, time for change. And the Every voice and sea till earth and heaven ring. Time for change, time for change. We're living in a world where people are dying every day. It's time for every man to have an equal chance. 
generations in the past. We all know the truth that must be done, and it starts, starts within. George Floyd's time. George Floyd's time for change. Much too long. Time for change. It's time for change. In two minutes, it'll be 8.46. As uh, Attorney Crump mentioned, it was eight minutes and 46 seconds. Eight minutes and 46 seconds where George Floyd lied on that ground and had a knee shoved into his neck by someone that is supposed to protect and serve in a good way, the community. You look beautiful out there, and I know that as we have our hearts ripe with the memory and life and legacy of George Floyd, I would like us to just keep a moment of silence up until 846. Can we do that? Thank you very much. Let's give it up for the family at this time again as they prepare for tomorrow to lay their loved one officially to rest. Our prayers are with you. And we truly want to see the same thing you're demanding, and that's justice for George Floyd. Thank you all. All right, everyone, we're almost to the end of our program, but as you're up here, family, I would like you to know that the Jack Yates National Alumni Association has been working hard to try to figure out ways in which we can ensure that the legacy and the life of George Floyd is remembered forever. The Jack Yates National Alumni Association knows the positive impact that George Floyd has had on many people, especially many youth, in the third world community and surrounding areas, and in the CUNY homes. On behalf of all JY alumni, we want to ensure that his life and legacy will be remembered well beyond this day, and that it continues to make an impact on the next generation of leaders. We would like to introduce the following initiatives in his memory. First, we would like to introduce the George Floyd Scholarship for Social Justice, which will be a series of scholarships founded by alumni, friends, donors, and volunteers that will provide financial assistance for students seeking higher education beyond high school and to promote human rights, social justice, 
police reform, fairness, and equity of opportunities. This scholarship will be open to students and alumni of Jack Yates High School and to the children or grandchildren of Jack Yates alumni. Eligible scholarship candidates will include Jack Yates seniors or students who are currently enrolled in an accredited two-year or four-year university or college. Next, we would like to introduce the George Floyd Memorial I Still Can't Breathe recognition, which will be an award that provides financial assistance to students who are currently enrolled in schools in the greater Third Ward area and to promote creative expression, for example, visual arts, photography, video, written word, music, or theater arts that honors the life of George Perry Floyd Jr., civil rights and the social justice struggle of African Americans. The competition will be open to students currently enrolled at underserved and marginalized schools in Houston, primarily focusing on students enrolled in Jack Yates High School or its feeder pattern schools. Lastly, we're excited to announce tonight that Comcast is presenting and has agreed to commit $5,000 towards the George Floyd Memorial Scholarship, which will support a graduating senior from Jack Yates Senior High School in the area of mass communications and to honor George Floyd's memory and his time at the school. The goal of this scholarship is to support the next generation of Yates students who will pursue a career in media, communications, and or technology. This scholarship will be open for students currently enrolled at Jack Yates for the 2020-2021 school year. Please join me in thanking Comcast representatives Ray Purser and Bryce Kennard for their generous financial support of our future generation of Lion leaders and for their generous contributions to help make today's event a huge success. More criteria on these scholarships and initiatives will be shared in the coming weeks, so please like our JYNAA Facebook page, and more importantly, we encourage you to join us as an alumni association on our quest to make an even greater impact for JY students and to preserve our rich legacy. Thank you, family. All right, last but not least, I'm going to offer us some closing words. We're going to have a closing prayer. And we're going to get out of here. But before I do that, I would like to uh, acknowledge TSU Chief of Police, Mary Young, for allowing us the use of the TSU parking garage and for their support in policing this event. I'd like to thank Chief Pete Lopez with HISD Police. I'd like to thank the Houston Independent School District for the use of this facility, the Jack Yates National Alumni Association, all of our committee members and executive committee members and board of directors. I'd like to thank again Comcast. I'd like to thank Ernest Walker, graduate of Jack Yates High School, who helped with the production of this event today with Walker Entertainment Group. I want to thank Max Stack Communications. I want to thank the American Red Cross for the water, the masks, the sanitizer, gloves, snacks, and the water for us to be out here today. I want to thank KTSU 90.9 FM. I'd like to thank Texas Southern University, the Houston Police Department, Metro Police Department, the Houston Fire Department, Constable Precinct 7, the University, uh, I said Texas Southern University, the Houston Society for Change, and the Houston Forward Times for all their efforts and all of the volunteers that gave of themselves to help with this event. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Mr. Carl Davis. Okay, a question on the table is if you want to give to the scholarship fund, how can you do so? More information will be going out, but you can definitely like us on our Facebook page at Jack Yates National Alumni Association. Send us a message. 
that you're interested and we would definitely follow up with you. And you can also email us at Jack, well, I'll, just send us a message on Jack Yates National Alumni Association Facebook page. My apologies. Now, as we close, I just have to say, the name, what is it? Jack Yates Alumni at gmail.com is the email address. Jack Yates Alumni at gmail.com and our website is Jack Yates Alumni.com. Jack Yates Alumni.com. Thank you, Amy. Amy Johnson, one of our board members, uh, committee members. The name George Floyd is more than a hashtag. The name George Floyd is more than a new Wikipedia page. The name George Floyd is more than just another murder victim at the hands of rogue police officers. The name George Floyd has become synonymous with an ever-increasing demand for justice in a country that has continuously ignored the cries for justice from black people who for decades have been the victims of racism, police brutality, systematic oppression, disenfranchisement, racial disparity in the criminal justice system, and even murder. Whether you knew George Floyd personally, as a friend, knew him as a classmate, knew him as a student, knew him as an athlete or a fellow athlete, knew him as a mentor, knew him as a relative, knew him at all. Knew him in Third Ward, knew him in the CUNY homes, and knew him at Jack Yates High School. His life and legacy will carry on beyond this tragic incident where a rogue white police officer pressed his knee into our fellow lion George Floyd's neck for eight minutes and 46 seconds during the arrest. Hail JY, and again, once a lion, once a lion, once a lion, we love you, George Floyd. We love you, George Floyd. We love you, George Floyd. Repeat, we love you, George Floyd. We love you, George Floyd. We love you, George Floyd. We thank you so much for being here today. And with that being said, we want to have a closing prayer by Dr. John Smith, class of 1994. Let us bow our heads in a word of prayer. Yes, brothers and gentlemen out there, may you move your heads if you're still out there. Oh, Lord, our God, how excellent is thy name in all the earth. Lord, we thank you for this day, Lord. We thank you for protection. We thank you for allowing us to come together in unity and solidarity, Lord. Lord, we thank you for the family of George Floyd. We thank you for the mornings and the mourners out there, Lord. We ask you that you continue to bless us and bless his family, that his memory may last forever, Lord. Lord, as you leave this place, we ask that you not leave our presence. Protect us and keep us and guide us. Not as unto him who is able to keep us from falling, presenting us faultless before his throne with exceeding joy. To the only wise God be power, majesty, glory, and dominion forever and ever. And everyone said amen. All right, lastly, y'all, we would like to end this night with none other than the Jack Yates School song. I know some of y'all may have to go back in your minds to remember, but we want to introduce another Jack Yates alum, class of 1981, Miss Burrow McGee, to sing this Jack Yates school song. Miss Burrow McGee. Dear Jack Yates, you stand before us speaking. For 
ferocious lion shows an emblem. Courage and strength he still inspires. As we march along life's highway, with a faith that never tires. Now let us all in one acclaim the story tale. Sterling working on our two, our dear old Jack Yates High. Loyal we are to you, Jack Yates. May the blessings of the Lord cover all of you as you drive home safely and God's blessings to George Ford and George Floyd's family. God bless you. Thank you, you Miss Beryl McGee. Thank you, everyone. God bless you. Enjoy your night. Be safe. And again, once a lion, always a lion. God bless you. I need a, all right, Jack A's Lions, I know you love your school, and I know you love being an alum, but if you have any trash that you broke or that you see, please, please pick up your trash or pick up a piece of trash or whatever pieces of trash and put it in the uh, closet.